everybody, this is Silver Kit, and welcome back to Dinosaurs in mm -hmm, Minecraft. So last time we got this lovely Parasaur here, and he's a great mount. I like him a lot, but the only problem is I can't make him sit down. So a wandering trader and his llamas were kind enough to lend me a lead, and uh, now I just leave him here. I also have moved our base camp to this edge of this little island here. And I cleared it all out and I set up some some trees because I'm going to start building a base. Uh, probably right around here is where I'm going to start building. I've been gathering resources and in here I have all the stuff I need to build this house, to build this base. So without further ado, let's get building! Alright, we got the frame up with this really lovely deep dark oak wood. And then we're gonna put down some, uh, this is deep slate tile along here for the foundation. And now we're gonna add some dark oak planks to the outside here. Clearing out this grass for the floor. Not sure how this is going to work, but we're gonna try some spruce logs along here for the floor. Then I'm gonna see how they look stripped. Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing in the world. <gasps> Go. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta be careful of accidental stripping. All right, that floor is looking good. I like it a lot. All right, my little house is coming along. Actually, I want to put a little bit of a cabin look. So these posts, these logs are going to kind of pop out like this. And I'm gonna do the, this little pop-out thing at all of the joins, like so. Alright, roof frame is done. Now I'm going to fill this part in, I think, with spruce stairs. So, hear me out. I thought about adding glass windows to this uh, build, but with all the dinosaurs running around and maybe wanting to crawl into my house and eat me, I figured maybe I would use uh, something a little bit more rugged. That's a little bit better. I think it makes more sense if you have dinosaurs wandering outside your window, have something not so easily break in a bowl. That's the word, right? So we're gonna go with these fences instead, though I'm not terribly pleased that this dark oak fences matches the walls so much. I think I'm gonna have to change it to something that stands out a bit more. How about spruce? Yes. That looks better. Right, now we're gonna add some trap doors to the walls there. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Alright, I think our little house is coming along really well. Oh yes, that is looking very good and even with the rain. Oh, I really love this brick. This brick is really cool looking. I really like how this fireplace turned out. Okay, I think my little house is done and I am pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really, really cute. I really like this chimney. I think the brick looks super cool. And then you come on in and it's just this cute, cozy little cottage. I have my kitchen right here. This is smooth stone, believe it or not. And this is basalt, smooth basalt that I got in the cave. And uh, the kitchen looks really good. There's a fireplace going, got some chests. Upstairs is the attic. I don't know what I'm gonna put up here. Maybe some storage, maybe an enchanting place, but this is the attic. And down here is my bedroom, in which I am going to sleep in. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this cute little house. I think it turned out really, really well. So now that I have a base started, we can go and work on some other things today. So, not only have I been gathering resources, I have been collecting a ton of berries. A metric ton of berries. So I am hoping this will be enough to go and tame a Triceratops. Today, I'm going to get a Triceratops and I see one Right over here! That will be our new Triceratops. But before we tame our Triceratops, I also need a saddle for it. So I have a saddle, and I also have a bunch of XP. I've been, um, <clears throat> defeating a lot of the dinosaurs around here. I've, uh, taken on a ton of, uh, those pig things, those Pheomias and Packies, 
and parasaurs and uh, dire wolves and coyotes and lots and lots of dinosaurs to try to build up my XP so I have enough to um, make a triceratops saddle. And I'm going to do that right now. So, unfortunately, I left my saddle bench right over here and I can't take it anywhere. You can't, it doesn't, it doesn't move. So apparently once you put it down, it stays there forever. So it's here forever now. Try Sarah saddle. I need a saddle and 12 orbs. I just have enough for 12 orbs. All right, here we go. One saddle that I found in the mine. Orbs, and we have a Triceratops saddle. So now we can go and tame a Triceratops. All right, Triceratops over there. You have been taunting me for at least a few days. All right, so first I need to feed you one of these. Yes, and now the taming process begins. How many will it take? It is going to take a lot. All right, do you not like those blueberries? Maybe you like these red berries. Yes! 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 We have our Triceratops! Now we're going to ride him. <laughs> yes! And now we are going to put on the saddle. And guys, look at this. Our very own Triceratops. Yep, this is super cool. Oh, he's so big. Can't even get a good angle on him. Oh, yes, look at you. Our first Triceratops. So now I kind of want to go and um see what he can do. Let's go find something to fight. Sorry, little Packy. You're going to be our experiment. Oof. Oh, right. Ouch. <laughs> All right, well, he took out that Packy. Now, feel me. Oof. Oof! Get him! Oh, three hits! Not bad! Alright, now we need to see how you do with some of the more dangerous creatures. Maybe if we find a dire wolf or a coyote. Oh, I know! In the swamp! In the swamp are some dangerous creatures. Okay, I know right over here is a small little swamp. And I think I've seen some dangerous creatures around this swamp here. Like a giant frog! I, 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 okay, okay, you are, you are, you are quite, ouch, you are not, you are not nice, get him, get him, get him, Triceratops, no, oh my goodness, this frog has a lot of health, all right, good job, Triceratops is gonna be amazing in combat, I feel, on the back of Triceratops, all right, we are home, for now, we're gonna put you right over here, all right, he's gonna stay right over there for now, because I need a place to put these dinosaurs. As I get more, I can't just keep tying them up. Um, I think they need a home, and I think I'm gonna build a little dinosaur barn right in this area here. You two hang out right there. I'm gonna build you a little barn, and then you'll have a permanent home. After moving our Triceratops a little farther away for room, we're gonna start building our barn, our dino barn. It's gonna be right here. There's probably not going to be enough room for all of the dinosaurs, but we'll get a few. Alright, here is the frame. It is very tall, but I figured it's going to need to be tall. These are dinosaurs we're talking about. Now I just need to work on the roof. And I think I'm going to try to make it look like there's just a bunch of logs that's been piled up on the roof. Just to try to give it a very rustic feel. Yep, that looks good. Some spruce fences right along here will look very nice. Keep the dinosaurs nice and secure. Then I'll add some spruce fences to the entrance of each stall. Now I do want to build a little bit of a fence for these guys as well. Add the final gates. And our little dinosaur barn is just about done. Oh, I think it turned out really good. And I think our little dinosaurs will very much appreciate this. There's a lovely yard for them to just kind of wander around in if they want to. There's a barn for all of them with a little stall. I think our little dinos will be very happy here. So let's go move them in. All right, Mr. Parasaur, we'll move you in first. You can have this stall, and then my big boy over here. You can have the middle stall right over here. Yep, I like our little dinosaur barn a lot. Um, however, I do feel we need to fill in that slot right over there. So maybe a little packy. Maybe a packy would be best. 
not entirely sure how to tame them. I've tried feeding them narco berries, but they don't seem to want it. Okay, I've done a little research, and apparently to tame a Paki, I have to hit it with a wooden sword, and then feed it. So we're gonna make a wooden sword, and then I think we have to feed it raw meat. Which is weird, because I thought Pakis were vegetarians. I feel kinda bad doing this. Hello, little Paki. I do apologize. Okay, he's down. Now... Okay, he will take the meat, okay. Ah, oh, and we tamed him, that was easy. I need to go make a saddle now. Packy saddle. Oh, he's fast. You're very quick. You're a lot better at maneuvering between the trees than the Triceratops. And there's our dinosaur barn with our Parasaur, our Triceratops, and our little Packy. Yep, that looks amazing. But we have one more thing to do before we end the episode for the day. While I was down mining, I found an abandoned mineshaft, and in that mineshaft, I found a name tag. So today, we're gonna go ahead and name one of our dinosaurs, and I think I'm gonna name the little Parasaur, because he was our first, and I think that's just appropriate. So first, we're gonna need an anvil. Three iron blocks, so expensive. Ooh, but the iron blocks look really nice. Wow, look at that. And now we can make one anvil. Let's put it right there. And I think I'm going to name this little Parasaur... <laughs> Sir Honk. Alright, little guy. You get a name. You are now... Sir Honk. <laughs> Forever and ever. So guys, that is all we have time for today. What do you think of our dinosaur barn and our three little dinosaurs? Which one is your favorite? Let me know. And if you have names for the other two, the Triceratops and the little Packy, let me know as well. But thank you all so much for watching, and the dinosaurs and I will see you in the next one. Bye!